What's going on everybody? How are you guys doing today? And have I got a spectacular haul video for you guys. So, you know, this is a pretty cool skateboard. It's a Veriflex. Uh, so yeah, don't go nowhere. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Hit the notification bell to get notified so that when I post another video, you will be notified immediately. Um, so this is, I went to, some stuff is going to be, I think I already did, yeah, like, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what's going on. All right, I think I need some more coffee. I need some more coffee. Hmm. Ah, that's better. Okay, so anyway, I went to a box lot today. There's a guy that does, um, he has like box sales um, with box lots. And he, it was very cold. It was 20 degrees. My hands are still recovering from being frozen from frostbite. <clears throat> and <clears throat> so I think we did okay. As far as this Veriflex board goes, I'm trying to find a date on it. It is missing the top bumper. When I used to skateboard, we had bumpers. We had the tail bumper. A lot of times it was a big bubble. Then we had the side, the side ones and the top ones. Now, if you were a good skateboarder, um, if you were, you know, like to do tricks and everything else, you, you took these off because these are just in the way. So what I would do is when I bought my board, if I bought it from, um, I grew up in Jersey. So in Jersey, we had James Way. And a lot of times... Um, like we had James Wayne, Kmart, Acme, you know, the basic um, places. Well, a lot of you may not have not heard of James Way, but James Way was just kind of like a Walmart, you know, like a big department store. Um, I think they had groceries, too. I don't don't quote me on that. I don't know if they did or not. I don't think they did. But um, anyway, if I bought a skateboard like this from Walmart, I would take the bumpers off immediately and just go grind and just go, you know, jump things and slide and grind and do all that stuff and ollie all over the place but um so i did skateboard probably for about probably like three to four years something like that i was okay it wasn't like pro or anything like that i did a little bit of freestyling too on my i was just an outside um kind of guy but anyway we're gonna get right into the haul video this i think i might be able to get about a hundred dollars for it it just depends on which one it is it's in fair condition so that means that it's probably not really meant to ride on. It is dry rotted a little bit or a lot of bit, but uh, anyway, but it's got them Veriflex, you know, it's got the Veriflex trucks on it. If you look at, you know, if you look right here, it says Veriflex. Um, they did do, it is almost complete. So it's like almost a hundred percent complete, but it's not. So I don't, I really wish I could find a date on it. There's no date. But it is really cool. It's the Martian. He's kind of like eating. He's eating our uh, our astronauts, which is not a good thing. The Martian is eating our astronauts. Not good. But really, really cool, guys. Just a really dope find. Um, I actually saw it on the way out. Like when I was getting ready to leave, I was like, let me. I was squaring up with him, paying him up, and um, that was the case. So, quick heads up on some of the figures. So this, I believe, it's like a big juggernaut figure. Um, I, this is with, um, this was included in with all of the, the, um, action figures that I've been buying. They've been mostly, I think they've all been like, I think some of them are Marvel. Some of them are DC. Some of them are like this, you know, like Fox and, um, things like that. Like, I think this is maybe a Fox enterprise or whatever, but, um, this is predators. So somebody bought two of them last night. I took an offer for 30 on each one. Because they are missing stands, they don't have weapons, they don't have anything like that. So there was that one, and then I think he bought, it's broken anyway, I'm always dropping stuff, you guys know that. Alright, um, and then there's this one, I forget what this one is called, this one is like a camo something predators, I think he bought those two, then I still have this one. So either bought this one, or he bought this one included with the camo one, so I'm not sure, I think he bought this one, I think it was this one. Um... But these are really cool. They're selling very well. Every time I go, I spend about a hundred dollars, and I usually and I get like 50, 50 to sixty figures, or maybe less than that, maybe like thirty or forty. But anyway, with that amount of figures, a lot of them are selling for fifty dollars a piece. So, 
some of the bigger, better ones are selling for a decent amount. So this is the big square guy with the big head. He's Marvel. I don't know what his name is, but um, there was only pieces of it. So I, I lotted the pieces together, and I got $28 just for the pieces. It's under a pound. I'll put it that in a box. I did. You can get like six. The number's terrible, but I think they're six by six by six boxes from Walmart. Let me see if I can grab one real quick and I can show you. I think they're like 50 cents. Yeah, I think that is the size. Yeah, unfortunately, the size is the devil. But anyway, it's all good in the hood. But um, I put all my, I put a lot of things in there. Some of them like this, I can just, I'll just wrap them in bubble wrap really good and I'll put them in like a padded envelope. But anyway, I think this is Bebop or whatever. This is one of the um, Ninja Turtle action figures. Um, I think this is from the 90s, but he was missing his fist. A lot of the a lot of the pieces I have, they're all scattered, and um, most of them are, are all in a box now. So I keep coming across all of the pieces. So I found his head. I think this is Owl Man or something like that. I think that's Owl Man, but he's actually missing his his little crotch plate or whatever. It's kind of broke off. So his other leg was was actually mixed in with pieces. So these two, I have to go back and I have to edit the listing before they sell. And I'm going to have to add the leg into this one and add, and make him complete. Not complete, but because he's probably missing, like, um, he's missing, you know, um, he's missing his accessories or whatever. So now we're going to get right into, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to go through everything um, individually because there's just too much stuff. Um, like, I got boxes of jewelry and watches. We're not going to look at every single watch. I'm just going to show you what I picked up. I paid a total of, he said, give me 25. I gave him 30. I said, here's $30. Thank you very much. He's a very nice guy. His name is Jim. My middle name is Jim. But um, anyway, I picked this up. At first, I thought this was a gaming one. The gaming ones are really expensive. Um, it is not a gaming one. It is one of those ones where you just put your phone, you put your phone in it and um, you play games with it. So I don't know. I would imagine it doesn't take batteries, but so I, I wouldn't think that it would need batteries. I think you just plug your cord. It has both cords. It has that one and that one. So this you might even be able to use on the computer too. I don't. I don't know. I have to look it up. I'm not even. I don't even know what brand it is. It's M. It's Moga, M O G A. I have to look that up. I don't know what the value is, but and this I probably wouldn't have picked this up if I would have known that it was missing the back. It's missing. I could go back tomorrow and look and see if it's there, but. Um, I'll probably just sell it without it. It's missing the slide. It's missing the door that goes in. It's This is um, remote control. It takes a lot of batteries. So I, all the batteries go into the remote. And it's, I'm not going to be able to test it because on the back of the remote is probably, um, there's the metal pieces that connect it so that it would work. This thing stinks. A lot of his stuff just sitting and moldy and smelly and... Somebody might just buy this. They might just need this. So I might be able to get like maybe like 20 bucks just for this plus shipping. Um, it's a possibility. It is made by... It's made by some toy state or something like that. Let me look at the... I can't see that. It's. Uh, I think it says toy state or something like that. Yeah, ta something state. It's 19, wow, this is 1987 Toy State. N, ND, license trademark, LTD. All right, so this is actually pretty old. Um, so I'll look it up and I'll see if it's worth anything. Um, I'm sure it's not worth that much. It's probably, something like this would be worth more probably if it was new in the box. If, or if it, at least you had the box to it. But it's still really cool. It's a cool Ferrari. Um it's actually, if it's not worth that much, I may just cut off the cord and just let my grandson just kind of roll it around, play with it. I, I don't know. Um, but um, we'll see what the value is on that. It might not be a whole lot, but we'll figure it out. So, all right. Got them bags, man. Put my stuff in. I use them to put my figures in. All right, so I didn't really, I was looking at the watches and I noticed that there was like a couple decent ones in there. Now remember, I only paid thirty dollars for everything. He only wanted twenty-five, but I offered, I gave him thirty. Like there's like a little Yorkie. Like some of these watches it might be worth putting batteries in. This is something that I'd wanted to steer away from. The only reason why I bought them because if there's a, if there's good ones in here, I'll just pick out the individual ones that are worth money. Um, sometimes there's automatic ones like that one's cool. 
That one's really neat. That one's like a bracelet. Like there's just a bunch of watches in here. Um, I'll go through the whole box. Uh, I may have been the first one. He is a reseller himself, so um, he might have already went went through all of these. So I'm sure there's no Rolexes or anything in there. Um, yeah, like that's kind of what a Rolex would look like. It would look like that, but of course it's not. It's, it is a, I don't know something some crappy brand but um there's one that one's made by hanselin japan movement no good you want you don't want japan movement you want um like swiss or something like that here's another one it's got like little diamonds on it this one is lgp yeah i don't know i'll go through it like i said it's gonna take a long time i don't want to sit here and bore you guys with all that crap all right so i looked this brand up this is a tea set. It's a children's tea set. It's pink. It's a little dirty. Um, there's the napkin holder. It's really cool. I um, can't remember who it was made by. It's. It might. This might be two sets because that one looks different. Um, yeah, see there's a name. can't remember what the name was. Banner, B-A-N-N-E-R. All right, so I'm guessing that it's the same. It looks a little different, so I don't know if it's the same set. All right, I'm going to do the research on this. There's probably a lid to that. There's the lid. That, that lid goes there. There's little forks and knives. Um, it's just a really cool set. There's a big, there's the big tea, big teapot. There's the, there's the lid for it. I mean, it's just really cool. So um, I was looking these sets up, and some of them were surprising me with their value. So I was like, all right, let me just grab all of them. I just grabbed all the pieces, and we, I'll just go from there. So since Christmas is coming, Santa's missing his hat. Shouldn't he have a hat on? Where's his hat? All right, but it has. it's one of those ones where you pull the piece up, but it does have somebody's name on it. It says, Robert, your top's on my list. So I don't know. I don't know if this type of thing is worth anything. I'll have to look it up. But it was just a random thing that was there, so I grabbed it. Um, I got a couple brass items. I got a welcome friends um, brass. These are not really, they're not, there's not a ton of value there. Then we have a brass knocker, a door knock. I grabbed that. Um, I found an old Spalding glove. It is... Balding Professional. It's a 13-inch glove. SC17. I don't know if it was just a not a bad looking glove. But pretty big glove. 13. So it's in pretty good shape. It, it was really stiff because it was cold. Um, but now it's like it kind of softened up now. So now it's it's not as in bad condition. Um, this might be a softball glove. It is pretty big. It has a big pocket. I think this is a softball glove. So we'll we'll see. Just type those numbers in when you guys are looking for certain things. Everything has a model number on it. Not everything, but that's the number of the gloves. You just type that in and you should be able to find it. Here's another one I was going to see if I could just sell this for parts. It is missing the back. Um, I'm going to put... Well, it does have some corrosion in it. You can clean that off. I think you can use vinegar or alcohol or something. Don't quote me. Do a little bit more research first. I, I, use, I use vinegar. Vin, I think vinegar works pretty well. Alcohol removes a lot of stuff too, but alcohol removes paint and everything too. So, <clears throat> so just be careful what you're using. Um, look, look things up. Don't go by my word because you know I just kind of do whatever sometimes. Um, and then we have a whole another box of junk right here. Here's a whole another box of junk. I got to go through a little bit more jewelry. We have an exact all-purpose leveler. That's vintage. Um, we have some gold tip gum, just an empty box, just so it was pretty cool. Some random stuff in here. There's another watch. There's a Steelers watch. Um, I'm going to try to put a battery in that and see if I can get that to work. I may just give that to my daughter. I'll, I don't know if she'll wear it or not. But, you know, everybody has an Apple watch now and, a smart, and you know, Samsung. and So a lot of people are just not wearing that, that type of thing anymore. Here's another cool watch. This one looks like a wind-up. We got a couple, a couple little pins. Um, these are actually marked. 
So we have a Christmas one. There's Christmas. There's Easter. These are cool. They're actually marked. Whoops, see, almost dropped it. Man, they're slippery. It's marked on the back. It says, I think it says something New York. No, it says item number. Fun World. Yeah, it is New York, though. It says Ellen Glen Cove. Something like that, made in China. I don't think they're super old, but, you know, whatever. Got something from the International Silver Company. I did, I had it open a little bit, and I wasn't sure. I think it's a clock. I think that's the only reason why I grabbed it, because it's a clock. Yeah. All right, so this is a clock. International Silver Company. It's pretty cool. It's just a desk clock. Um, Since this is a clock, this will probably sell better than a piece of silver. Um, Because this is like, this is cool. This is like a... Something that you could, um, it's battery operated, you know, it's like a desk clock. You could take it and travel with it, you know, and just sit it on your desk when you, when you go places. And it's just really nice. It's got a nice, like, blue color to it. Like, it's just, you know, I, I opened it up and I seen it. It was a clock. I didn't look. I didn't know what color it was. I had no idea. But I did grab it because I figured that, um, maybe I get a couple bucks for it. There's definitely value here. There's definitely money to be made with all this stuff. Um, some of it might be junk. I might have to toss it. We got some pins. There's a pin. Take a look at some of these pins too. Make sure that they're, sometimes they're silver, sometimes they're gold. Like this is heavy. But I see a lot of, I see a lot of turning on it. So you know it's not silver. Sometimes you might find something that might be real silver, might be real gold. You just, you never know. This one's just another random. That one's in bad shape. Like I said, I just grabbed the box because I didn't want to, I just didn't feel like going through it. I wanted to just take the whole box. Here's another big watch. I thought that this was cool because this one has the moon. Um, I forget what that's called when it has the, it goes from night to day. I think it's called moon phase. I think that's called moon phase. I'm almost positive. There's some knives in there, like just some random, random knives. They just say canoe on them. I don't know if they're worth anything. They got the little toothpick in them. Um, they're just cool, like little, just a little utility knife. It has a pair of scissors. So I don't know if canoe is the brand or if that's just something random that's probably not worth anything. I don't know. Here's another watch I was looking. I think this is the one I was just looking at. This is a Timex. This is actually a wind. This is a date. All right, sometimes you gotta move it. This one is water resistant. I don't know if that says Japan. Sometimes you gotta move them a little bit. Sometimes if you tap it, See how I just tapped it and it's not starting to move. See it moving. So this one is working condition. Um, I might want to take it apart and maybe blow a little air in it. Like not like a, you don't want to do, you don't want to overdo it. But um, this is just a really nice watch. There's nothing really wrong with this one. So this one right here will probably pay for everything. Um, I should be able to get it anywhere from 20 to $30 for this Timex. Um, probably like realistically like $25 for that. So see right there was actually worth it. So we have a box of junk, but there's something good in this box. So, you know, that worked. I'll just get rid of the box. Um, the last um, lot of jewelry that I bought, I just threw all of the costume jewelry away. I, it, it didn't even really make sense to donate it. A lot of it was just really junk. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna push it back into, into the system because it'll just show up again somewhere else and it's just junk. So. I just got rid of, like, I mean, like, beads that are broken. I mean, like, junk, junk, not anything that's really salv salvageable. Somebody sending me a message. Who that is? What is that? Somebody answered me about a pair of shoes from how long ago? Okay, that is absolutely not very, that is unprofessional. Check him out. Woo, 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 woo. All right, so um, I think this is like handmade. I don't know if it's old or not. I don't know if it's if it's worth anything, but I know that 
nobody plays with this kind of stuff anymore, so I don't know if that's from the 80s or, or what, but I'm going to look it up. These I thought were pretty cool. Um, Calvert Reserve makes a difference in good drinks. Um, I'm guessing that this is just like a brand new coaster set. I don't know if, there's, if it's worth anything. I didn't look it up. I just grabbed it because I thought that it was cool. We have a vintage Bible. Um, this is New Testament. I think I did look the, look the date up. Women's Christian Temperance Union State. I think that's the state of Georgia or something like that. Um, 1910. So this is a really old Bible. This is from 1910. It's a pocket Bible. Um, some Bibles are really valuable. A lot of times you get Bibles for free. If you see a really nice one, I know it sounds kind of weird, but um, whether you're religious or not, whatever your situation is, some Bibles can be very valuable. So if you see them, um, a lot of times like Salvation Army, they'll put them at the window. They're free. So if you see one that you believe is worth, you know, $20, $30, $40, dollars um, it's worth picking up because you can get it for free. It's not worth any, or it's not, it's... It's, um, you don't have to pay for it. So whatever. All right. So I've never seen this beanie baby. This is like a teddy bear beanie baby. It's really cool. Um, it's still got the tag on it. So, you know, the tag is in bad shape. It's not perfect, but this is, which one is, what's his name? Leave it to me. His name is clay. Leave it to me. So I don't know if he's worth anything. We're going to find out. Um, he actually is functioning. He's a functioning teddy bear. So he might have a little bit of value. He might be worth 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Then we have the Elvis one. It's got a sticker on the back of him. I don't know if that sticker is supposed to be there. Um, boop, 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 boop. Folsom, California. 2003 Limited Treasures. So I don't know. I just thought it was cool. It's got Elvis on it. Somebody would probably buy that just to sit on their desk. Maybe play with it, sleep with it. I don't know. Whatever you want, whatever you want. All right, so let's get through. Let's go a little bit faster here. All right, so we have fishing accessories. I wasn't sure what this was, so I just kind of grabbed it. Oh, these are tips. So I don't know what's in that. I don't know if this is open or not. I'll have to do another check on it. This is just like a fishing accessory tips. Whatever. I thought these were cool. Um, I don't know what these are worth. Vintage Frostilla. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. So there's three packs of these. Um, they're old, but they're heavy. So I know that... Oh, yeah, look at that. Sometimes if you shake them up... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if these have any value to them. They might just be junk. But um, I'll do a little bit more research on those and we'll find out. There's a couple more watches. Just some random things that I threw in there. Um, there's another watch. Another watch. We'll have to look that one up. There's another one. They were just there. I just threw them in. Um, Wind-up ones are the best ones because you don't have to put a battery in them. You just wind them. If they work, then they work. You just sell them. Um, make sure that they're continuously working. I don't know what this is. Um... It looked a little, it looked interesting to me, so I kind of grabbed it. I don't think that this is silver. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's just like a random stone that sits. It kind of fell out too. I don't know if that's supposed to be glued in. It just pulled right out. Yeah, I don't know. Does it sit? No. It's falling out, so I don't know if that's plastic. I don't know what that is. So I, it's just like sitting in this in this metal, and it is stamped, though. It's probably Avon. No, it's actually made by Monet. M-O-N-E-T. Monet is actually... Some Monet can be very valuable, and some of it is not. So I don't... I don't know. I'll do the research on this. It's almost like this rock like wants to stay. It's not magnetic. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'll do a little bit. I'm going to put that to the side and we'll look that up later. I, I don't think that this has a ton of value. This is one of the Welch's. Um, there was Welch's um, jam or whatever, grape uh, or jelly. So 
The Lion King 2. I don't think that has any value. Somebody, I think there's a set, so maybe if somebody needs that one. It's not very big, so. Then we have an equity clock. I didn't test it, so I don't know if it works or not. We're going to have to see if it works. We got some, some sunglasses. They're brand new. They're made by Outlook, I guess. So we'll do a little bit of research on them. Whenever you see that design right there, that's called tortoise. So you guys know that. It's called a tortoise, a tortoise design. Then we have some furniture treatment gloss. Have no idea. Another vintage pack. So um, it's for somebody that is maybe a collector, this would be interested. They would be interested in that. I don't know. And I think that this is just like a children's hat. I didn't see any markings on the inside. I was looking, but it's the quality of it is very good. It's got leather. It's got like a leather brim. Um, so, like I said, I don't see, I don't see any markings. The inside feels like it's made out of silk. It just feels like really, really good quality. It's really good quality. I'm guaranteed. Um, this is most likely wool. It's got like a fleck design on it. It's just really cool. So, um, it's obviously a children's hat. So I, I don't know if that has any value. Maybe, maybe not. All right. So then we got a random pile of junk. I got some baby rattlers. All right, so we got the Smurf one. I got the Cookie Monster one. I got so there's two there. Um, there was a bunch of these, so I just grabbed them. Some random stuff. We got a random, random Barbie book. It was in better condition than that when I put it in there. I bent it up a little bit. Oops. So I don't think that has any value. Um, I think you have to have a ton of stuff like that to put it together for it to be worth anything. Then we have a little Mickey Mouse ball. Um, I know it's vintage. I don't know what it's worth. Probably not much. We have a little Winnie the Pooh. I think these are like squeak toys, maybe dog toys. Yeah, I think that's what that is. That's like a doll. It's like a dog toy. So then there's a bunch of these. I just put them all together. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are, I think they're just, I think these are ornaments. There's like a sleepy sleepy one there's another one like an angel i'm gonna take one out of the package to sh kind of show you guys there's another one sleeping with the moon so that's that one looks like it's like a dog or a mouse or something so i, I figured that i could probably put these all together but i think there's some doubles in there let me see i think it's like an ornament yeah it says they're it's marshmallows it's marshmallow angel 1986 okay so these are cool they're ornaments they're christmas ornaments so this is something that's going to sell right around this time so if i price them right don't want to drop it but there you go these are cool there's the back they're they're marshmallow ornaments try not to drop it and break it so because you know i'm notorious for that for dropping things Told you that's why I never played football. Good at basketball. Not football. Well, I can catch a football. And not completely, you know. Alright, and this was brand new. It is just like a cube. I think this is like a Rubik's Cube type of deal. It's a rusty Wallace. It's brand new. It's still sealed. So I'm probably get a few bucks for that. And there's another baby rattle. This one is um Tommy, Tommy Tippy, something like that. Tommy Tippy. So I might just put those rattles, just put them all together and just sell them the way they are. And then there was just this coin. It's actually got Dale Earnhardt on it. So we got the Dale Earnhardt coffee can. Whatever. Probably not worth anything. Probably junk. We have a Batman pin. If it was a magnet, I'd probably put it over on my, on my, on my, on my, on my um, my, my desk. De what is that called? Filing cabinets. I have a stack of filing cabinets. Um, this is Stacy Compton. Stacy Compton. I don't know. I just grabbed it. It's probably not worth anything. I'll probably give it to my grandkids. Then we have a bunch of bunch of cards. Let me see. Let's get these out of here. Somebody actually had them priced. So it was obviously a collector. This one I seen on the way out. I just thought it was really cool. I know that definitely has value. I don't know what it is. Um, 
It says Court Corchy Toys made in Great Britain. Patent application. Um, what does it say? It says what, Wiener. Is that Ween? I don't know. I don't know what it says. I can't really read what it says. You guys are going to see it backwards too, so it's not it's not going to help. But just the way that the tires are made, it's in really good shape. Like, it's not that bad. Like, it's decent. It still has a lot of the color on it. Some people paint them and they redo them. Um, a lot of people don't want you to do that. <clears throat> All right, so we have, this is a funny, these are called funny cars. That's a funny car. It says Hot Wheels, circa 1993. He's got a $4 price tag on it, so I don't know what the deal is with that one. All of them, they were all like price. There is no, none of them are red line. I wish. Hot Wheels, bright orange. Yeah, see, that one's like, I don't know. So, I'll look them up. This one's plastic, so this one's just not old. Hot Wheels, green gator. Oh, it's got the gator. Oh, that one's cool. This one's probably got some value to it got a higher price on it um i don't know what that is less lessner lessney truck yellow something i don't know i don't know what you would call that just a bunch of just a bunch more cars and then these two i grabbed towards the end uh, i believe they're both they're, they're probably the same part of the same um company maybe I don't know. They're in really bad condition, so I don't I don't know what, if I can do anything with those. This is a cool car. This one is what is this one? 1988 Hot Wheels. It just says white car. I don't know. I don't know what that design is on it. What is that? I'm not even sure. It's not a red line. Oh, I don't know what that is. And th there wouldn't be any red lines left behind. He wouldn't have grabbed them. There's another one. So, like I said, none of these are really valuable. That one's another race. It's got the race window in it. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the value is on that stuff. So, let's just move it. <clears throat> move it out of the way. We'll get to it. Let me get to it. And then this was another part. It was just kind of in there. So, I don't know if that's worth anything. Maybe one of my boys might want it. It's actually nice. I don't know if it's real silver. Stainless steel. I don't know. I think it's stamped on the top. I think it is stamped on the top. I have to look at it. I mean, you never know. That might be made out of gold. It could be gold. It could be white gold. Um... It looks really nice. That's why I'm taking taking extra looks at it. Sometimes the barrel, the barrel clamp, the barrel um is marked. So I'll take another look at it. Um, maybe maybe it's worth something. Maybe not. We'll see. All right. So and last but not least, we have some more stuff here. All right. So we got some red socks towels. There was three of them. So I, I was like, you know, I'll just grab them. If anything, maybe we'll take them home. I'll use them at home. I don't know. Use them as like bath towels or whatever. Just Boston Red Sox. I think they're all pretty much the same. <clears throat> there was three of them. So maybe I'll just take them home and wash them and we'll just use them. Never have enough bath towels, right? Got three kids. Three boys. So this one's got better color. This one has a better color in it. This one I think is like the same thing. So, um, yeah, they probably do need to be washed, but they don't smell. They're not dirty. Now, if they were really bad, like stinky dirty, I wouldn't have bought them. I would have left them. <clears throat> All right, so we have this brand new Carol Burnett. Um, probably not worth anything. It was new, so I grabbed it. I was like, I'll just take a chance on it. If it isn't worth anything, I'll just get rid of it. Then we have the Emoji Chia Pet. Ch -ch 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 I don't know if that's worth anything. I guess we'll find out. Um, so we have the Allen Iverson crossover promotions. G. Allen Iverson collectible locker bank. This is from McDonald's 2003. So I don't know if this has any value or not. Um, let me see if it's the same one that my son. Yeah, it's the one my son has. He already has this one, so I'm not going to give it to him. I'm just going to resell it. 
Or maybe I'll hold on to it in case he breaks his. This one might even be broken already. A lot of times they are. So. Um, I don't think he has that. This does not look like the one that he has. That does not look like at all like the one that he has. Check that out. We'll have to do, I'll have to look it up too. That's really nice. This one is a bank. There's no money in it. Got the balls. Got his shoes. Check out his shoes. Pretty cool. It's not super detailed, but you know, whatever. Still pretty cool. So I don't know. I don't know if that's the one he already has. He really likes Allen Iverson. It would be cool for him to have the one in the box too. So I don't know. I'll take it home, see if he has it or not. All right, so I think that this is a lithograph. It says Gary Lyon. This was something that you could buy somewhere. I don't know. There's the back of it. There's the picture. It's like, I think those are like water buffalo. Is that what they are? What are bison? What are those things? I think they're bison. I don't know. I don't know. All right, and... I think I had already did the research on this. Alright, and this is a cobblestone corner collectibles. I did see them selling really high. They're kind of like up and down. Look, this was five dollars. That was five bucks when it came out. This is from Family. This was from the Family Dollar, but it's definitely vintage. Share the spirit. Fine hand painted porcelain, 10 piece lighted set. They're selling like, they sell pretty high. So I don't, I don't know, you know, what the deal is. We're gonna take a look at it. Let's take it out, take a look and see what we got going on. See what's going on, bruh. It's in pretty good shape. It's definitely in good condition if you guys can see it. I don't wanna tilt it too far, I don't wanna break it. Um, there's a figure, there's a light post. There's a little light post. There's, so we got that one. Probably made in China, right? I got to get rid of that. That, um, I just went to pull it up and it's broke. It keeps, the, the piece keeps coming out. I think I dropped it and I broke the seal on it. I mean, you, it'll go back in, but it just, it just keeps breaking. I think it goes in the other way. Other way, yeah. But it keeps breaking. I have like three more. Anytime I see them, I always pick them up. Um, yeah, made in China. So if this is the same set that's online, I think it was selling for like $70. So this is going to have to go. So here's the lights that go in it. Here's all the little pieces. There's another little, what's that say? It says Main Street little Main Street signs. Then there's another one. There's one there. Then there's a little snowman. So I think that this is complete. I think that this set is complete. There's the lights. I'm not really sure how that works. So these are cool. All right, I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll have to see what this is really selling for. See if I can find the exact same one, and of course it's going to sell now because it's Christmas time. Um, I don't think this is the kind of stuff that my wife wants. I want to get her newer, mo more modern stuff. Like I don't want to get her this older vintage stuff. This is m more, um, you know, more for maybe older people or just people that love, would rather have vintage stuff. I I don't think she wants old things. All right, and then I seen this, and I knew that there was value there. So this is a Navy uniform. The reason I know that is because it said is it says it says it on the inside. All right, so this is the top. I think that this is a woman's uniform. I think this is women's. NB Arnold. And it says Campbell. So that was probably the person that it was given to. Just really cool. Too bad there wasn't pants. There just wasn't any pants to these. 
But these are made really well. I'm, I'm guessing that these are made out of wool. So, man, I'm telling you, I guess when you're in the Navy, you're on a boat, you know, whatever you're doing, there's a button missing on that side. I think that there's only, yeah, there's buttons missing. So it's not in perfect condition. Um, There's a little pocket right here. Cool. So there was one, and I think they're anywhere between like $20 and $30. I might just sell them all together and just put them in a lot and just do like 50 bucks or something. Here's another one. This one's a little different. This one says Naval Clothing Factory. Rate something Arnold. That it even has the name on it. Um, I don't know if it goes, if it's inside out or what. Yeah, that was inside out. All right, so here's another one. I don't know what size they are. There's another one. This one doesn't have the it doesn't have the stripes on it. That one's plain. And then last but not least, we have another one, naval clothing. I don't know what year it's from. These are small. I don't know if these are women's or not. I'm not even sure. Um this one has this one is dirty. It has a hole in it. This one has a hole in it, so it does have one stripe on the sleeve. It doesn't have anything on the back flap, which I don't even know what that was for. What was that even for? Why did they even have that flap there? I don't even know what that was for. But, um, yeah, guys, that's it. That's all she wrote. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. We did find a lot of stuff. It was a 40-minute video. It was absolutely way too long. Um which is what I don't want, but it was just a ton of stuff, and there's a lot of stuff for me to go through. Um, we're going to start listing. It is 10.30. I think the post office closes at 1. I do have about 10 items to ship. Um, I'm not obligated to ship them now. Um, like I said, don't take my word for it. Don't lead by my example. Um, sometimes I have other things to do, and I'm like, you know what? I'll just ship them Monday, and um, they're not late. So, um, that's kind of like what all that, that's really all that matters as long as you're not shipping things late. Um, that is the reason why I have two day handling. I can't do one anymore because I just can't keep up with it. Um, I have too much going on in my life. I have to juggle back and forth and it's just like, you know what? I can't do it. I, it's just, it's way too much. It's less stressful for me to be like, okay, well, these items don't have to ship till tomorrow. So I'll ship them tomorrow. So that's what I've been doing. So that's what I'm going to do. So anything that sells on Friday is not going to have to ship until Monday. So um, what I'll do is I'll probably just get everything ready on Sunday and maybe do some sourcing or something on Monday. So I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But I have tons of figures to do. I have a box, you know, a huge box filled with figures. So I'm going to get to it. I keep buying them. I got to keep listing them. You know, so it is what it is. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Leave that comment down below about whatever's on your mind. I don't know. Just keep it real. You know, keep it uh, keep it respectable. And um, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.